بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جوائنٹ پرابلٹی ڈسٹریبیوشن از اے پرابلٹی ڈسٹریبیوشن آف ٹو آر مور دین ٹو رینڈم ویریبلس بٹ ہیئر وی شیل اسٹڈی دا جوائنٹ پرابلٹی ڈسٹریبیوشن آف اونلی ٹو رینڈم ویریبلس ایکس اینڈ وائی دین وی شیل ابٹین دا مارجنل پرابلٹی فنکشن دا مین and covariance of joint probability distribution in the previous lectures we have studied that probability distribution of a single random variable x is a table or a list which contains all the possible values of x and their corresponding probability Now here, the joint probability distribution of two random variable x and y is again a table or a list which contains all the possible values of two random variables x and y and their combined are joint probabilities. Here, f of x comma y represent probability of x is equal to x comma y is equal to y so this is a combined probability and that must be greater than or equal to zero the sum of all probabilities will be equal to one sometime we will be given a joint probability distribution of two random variables So by using this function, which is called the marginal probability function of X, we can obtain the probability distribution of the single random variable X. And this function is called marginal probability function denoted by P of X or F of X. To obtain F of X, we can see that we take summation on the values of y in a similar way the marginal probability function of y is denoted by p of y or f of y and to obtain this function we take summation on the values of x and with the help of this function we can obtain the probability distribution of a single random variable y. Let us solve an example to explain these concepts. The joint probability distribution of two random variables x and y is given in this table. We can see there are three values of the random variable x, 0, 1, 2, and there are two values of the random variable y, 0 and 1. And these are the corresponding probabilities, which means that this is f of 0, 0. When x is 0, y is 0, they intersect here. This is f of 1, 0. When x is 1, y is 0, and so on. The task is to find probability of x is equal to 0 comma y is equal to 1 which is f of 0 comma 1 and probability of x plus y greater than 1 and part 2 we need to find the marginal probability function of x and in 3 the marginal probability function of y let us find the value of f of 0 comma 1 f of 0 comma 1 mean x is 0 y is 1. You can see x is 0, y is 1. They intersect at this point. So f of 0, 1 is 0 0.2. That's the solution. To find probability of x plus y greater than 1, it means we shall find probabilities of those points whose sum is greater than 1. We can see here if we sum one with one. So one with one, one plus one is two, which is greater than one. So the first thing is to find probability of f of one comma one. Then if we, x is two and y is zero, then f of two comma zero, that is greater than one. 
and next one is f of 2 comma 1 that is greater than 1 so probability of x plus y greater than 1 is equal to f of 1 comma 1 plus f of 2 comma 0 plus f of 2 comma 1 so these are only three points whose sum is greater than 1 now from the table the value of f of 1 comma 1 x is 1 y is 1 that is point 2 f of 2 comma 0 x is 2 y is 0 so that is point 1 f of 2 comma 1 x is 2 and y is 1 x is 2 y is 1 so the value is 0 adding these values we get that probability of x plus y greater than 1 is equal to 0 0.3 to find the marginal probability function of x, we use this formula. And here we can see to find f of x, we take summation on y. There are two values of y. y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. So we take summation j is from 1 to 2. And now the value of y1 is 0 and the value of y2 is 1. Using this relation, we can find the values of this marginal probability distribution function, f of x, at different values of x. There are three values of x. x is equal to 0, 1, and 2. At x is equal to 0, we put here x is equal to 0, and here, and here. So f of 0 is equal to f of 0 comma 0 plus f of 0 comma 1. From the table, we get the value of f of 0 comma 0, which is 0.1. And the value of f of 0 comma 1, which is 0.2. Adding these two numbers, we get 0.3. At x is equal to 1, Again, we substitute x is equal to 1 in this function, also 1 here and here, to get f of 1 comma 0 plus f of 1 comma 1, obtaining the values of these two from the table and adding them, we get 0.6. In a similar procedure at x is equal to 2, we get the value of f of 2 which is 0.1. So the marginal probability function f of x is equal to 0.3, fx is 0. 0.6, fx is 1. 0.1, fx is 2. From this function, we can easily obtain the probability distribution of x, which is a table. This table contains all the possible values of x and their corresponding probabilities. In a similar procedure, we can obtain the marginal probability function of y by using this formula, but we can see that here to find f of y, we take summation on the values of x. There are three values of x. x is equal to 0, 1, and 2. So we take summation i is from 1 to 3. Then we substitute the value of x1, which is 0, the value of x2, which is 1, the value of x3, which is 2. And using this relation, we can find different values of f of y. There are two values of y, y is equal to 0 and 1. So at y is equal to 0, we just plug this value here and in these three places. And we get f of 0 comma 0 plus f of 1 comma 0 plus f of 2 comma 0. From the table, we get the values of these probabilities and then adding them to get 0.6. At, at, at y is equal to 1, again, we do the same procedure, just substitute y is equal to 1 here, 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 and here. So then from 
the table, we obtain the values of these probabilities. Adding them, we get 0.4. And hence, we get the marginal probability function f of y, which is 0.6 when y is equal to 0, and 0.4 when y is equal to 1. From this function, one can easily find the probability distribution of y, which is a table containing all values of y and their corresponding probabilities. Another method to find the marginal probability function f of x and f of y is given here to find the value of f of x. You can see at x is equal to zero, we have these two numbers. So adding 0.1 with 0.2, we get 0.3. At x is equal to zero, f of x is 0.3. At x is equal to one, just add 0.4 with 0.2, we get 0.6. At x is equal to two, add 0.1 and zero, we get 0.1. So all the values of the marginal function f of x are 0.3 when x is 0, 0.6 when x is 1, 0.1 when x is 2. Similarly, we can obtain the values of the marginal probability function of y. We can see there are two values of y, y is equal to 0 and 1. At y is equal to zero, we can add 0.1 with 0.4 and with 0.1. So we get 0.6. At y is equal to zero, the value of f of y is 0.6, which we can see. Similarly, at y is equal to one, we can add 0.2 plus 0.2 plus zero, we get 0.0. .0. At y is equal to one, the value of this marginal function is 0.4, you can see, which is the same. So this is a direct method in which we quickly obtain the values of the marginal probability functions. The mean of joint probability distribution of x and y is denoted by E of xy r mu sub xy and it is defined by this formula e of xy is equal to summation i is from 1 to n and then summation j is from 1 to n xi into yj f of xi yj the covariance of x and y shows the relation between the variables x and y and it is defined by this formula covariance of x comma y is equal to e of x y minus e of x into e of y now let us find the mean and covariance of the joint probability distribution given in example number one of this lecture. In example number one, we are given the joint probability distribution and we have obtained the marginal probability function of X as well as the marginal probability function of Y. Now the mean is given by this formula and here we can see that the values of x are from 0 to 2. There are three values of x and two values of y. y is from 0 to 1. So that is why we take summation y is from 0 to 1 and x is from 0 to 2 x y f of x y. Now, just expanding these summations and we get these six terms. From the given table, we can obtain the values of these functions, but zero multiplied with anything is zero. So the first, the first term is zero. Similarly, 
zero multiplied in the second term with the other, so it will become zero. The second term is zero. Then the third term, again, we have zero in multiplication, so that is zero. The fourth term is zero. The, in the fifth term, one into one is one, and to find f of one comma one means that x is one, y is one. So this is x is equal to one, this is y is equal to one. They intersect here, so f of one comma one is 0 0.2. In the last term, there is f of two comma zero. Two into one is two, but to find f of two comma zero, x is two and y is one. So f of two comma one is zero. Now adding all these terms, we get that the mean of this probability distribution is 0.2. To find the covariance, we use this formula, but we can see that we have already obtained the value of E of xy, which is 0 0.2. So we only need to find the value of E of x and then the value of E of y. To find the value of E of x, there are three values of x, 0, 1, 2. So we take summation x is from 0 to 2, x f of x. Now, if we put 0 here and here, f of 0, we can see when x is 0, the value of f of x is 0.3. So we have 0 into 0.3. Now to put 1 here and here, the value of f of 1, when x is 1, the value of f of 1 is 0.6. The last term to put two here and here, then we can see when x is two, the value of f of x is 0.1. Simplifying these terms, we get that E of x is equal to 0 0.8. In a similar way, we can find E of y because there are two values of y y is equal to zero and y is equal to one. So we take summation y f of y, y is from zero to one, just substituting values and simplifying e of y is equal to 0 0.4. The last term now we can obtain the covariance of xy. We can just substitute the value of e of xy, which is 0.2, the value of E of X, which is 0.8. The value of E of Y, which is 0.4. So we get these, these values. And now simplifying, we get that covariance of X comma Y is equal to minus 0.12. That's all.